Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Star Studio Gallery in the backyard and it's probably 115 degrees in my work area under the tent and thank God there's a little bit of a shadow on the canopy top or I would probably be completely melting but I have a really cool canvas right here with a kind of a neat painting on it but it just does not speak loudly enough to me to keep it forever and ever so what I'm going to do is use my newly altered small basting brush silicone with five, five tines five filaments left and this other one with um i'll just show you where's my scissors where are my scissors i'm going to trim those right out of there right now and now i have four rows with two filaments each in them and that'll be whatever it'll be and i'm going to put my glasses that I can't rest on my head on my eyes and hopefully get that piece of paint out from under my mm, okay that's not cool <laughs> I got a I got a slash of paint right in front of my eyeball so I've got black and white paint here and what I want to do and what I can do may or may not be the same things I have I have rakes I want to call them threeks because they've got three tines and I've got gold paint that I made up that is not a problem in this heat and I meant to get my silver son of a gun I messed up anyway I'm not gonna worry about that right now I am gonna try to discern which one of these do I have any silver out here oh, I really wanted some silver okay well never mind anyway so we'll start with this and not worry about anything else and it may or may not be a good idea but I don't think it's gonna be the end of the world and my intention is if this does not work, is to just go ahead and add paint directly to the canvas. But um, I don't have a huge window of opportunity to do this, and probably there is not enough paint in here. I don't mind if I have just an extremely abstract expressionist bunch of trails, and I may or may not. I want a small edge catcher. Oh, how small can I go? I could go that small. That is a very small edge catcher, but it will allow me to tip the paint over the canvas and push it back on again. And that could be pretty cool. And what that taught me was to add more paint to my... It's not a threek. It's a rake. It's a beach sand shovel from a kit from the dollar store. And I'm going to fill them right up as much as possible. She said hopefully. And there's a reason it's in that other pan, so it won't be a problem. And I'm going to probably do it again, because I kind of like how that looked. But I'm not sure that I'm good enough at this yet. So if I put a big puddle there, then I can tip it in the other direction. And if I rest it, it will pool. It is a bit of a risk, there's no doubt about that, and I want a better edge catcher than the one I had. Let's grab another one. Let's go that way with it. We're just sort of adding texture. Looks like we're adding a lot of gold. <laughs> we're gonna tip that right back on and push it so that it interferes with the rest. We're gonna make some very organic shapes. We're going to keep tipping as long as it looks interesting, and it does look interesting. And I'm really tempted to go ahead and follow through on my other plan, which is to play with. No, I don't want to do that. Boy, I hope this works. <laughs> I really do. Because the canvas is dry behind it, it's not going to be the same as if you did it on a wet one. So it's definitely a risk, and I haven't done it before. And uh, I kind of like how it looks, but I kind of want to keep playing with it. And I think I will. You knew I would anyway. I'm going to take the bigger, am I? I'm going to take the bigger one. Dip it right in there. 
and create some really funky shapes. And that's a little questionable as to whether I'm in love with that or not, but that's okay because a lot of times the white, or in this case the metallic, solves that issue for me. And it did just then, and that's cool. So let's do a little more up here, and then come back around over there. And just continue to have some fun. Ooh, that is fun. So I think since that worked so well, I'm just going to keep adding some in there. Oh, I got a plug. And go for it. Go for it. I want some black down there. This is going to be neat. Okay, which way do I want to go with that? I want some white. I want some white here. And I'm keeping the basting brush loaded with whatever paint was on there and using it. Dragging it right out until it's gone. I am almost done. And that means that I will tell you, I only got 10 minutes left on my clock, but it doesn't hardly matter because um, I've just fixed this and turned it into something I really like as opposed to what I had, which was something that was okay, but just not, uh, not dramatic enough. I'd like to be able to think that when people buy my artwork, and they are, that they're buying something that will maintain its value and be interesting to collectors for a long time, not just a little while. It may be helping me out that I have a really hot day. I want, I want to know what happens when I do this right down through the middle. And that's what happens to that. Right down through the middle again. Let's just play willy-nilly with paint. Because the background patterns are really neat. And I could go too far, but I don't think I have yet. I, I kind of want to add a color, but I don't also really believe that I actually need one. I think that's just my colorful soul screaming out for what it always wants. Let's go back to this little one. And I suppose there's always another day, too, you know. If I don't really like what I've got, nobody said I have to keep it. I kind of want to tip that. I want to keep seeing what I like. I like adding another layer of the white. That's pretty cool. Especially when I can drag it sideways on top of a long... Yeah, that's neat! Wow! Okay, black first. Just go nuts. You don't have to do this with a background. You can do this. with a painted white background. I think I want black back in the middle of that. And I can go up and down. Yep, I like that. And sideways. I think I like the up and down better. I don't mind if it mixes a little bit. That's neat. Okay, well, now, I was trying to tell you something and I completely got so enamored of my work here. Which, there are worse things, because I didn't always used to like my work. Um, so I have PayPal and Patreon for those of you who want to contribute to help me keep painting. And I appreciate all the contributions in the past. And that will enter you into this month's contest, where on the end screens of this video in the last 20 seconds, you can find a video of 10 by 20 inch artworks that include the prizes that will be offered to the whoever's name is drawn on June 8th, 2019. That is so cool. I'm very happy with how that turned out. I think I'm going to give myself permission to just go over here to... Oh, that's neat. Anyway, so there's um, 
Pinterest and Instagram and Facebook albums and a description of paint pouring uh, recipe underneath the video under show more. You can also find my Amazon link where you can find my book called Because I Can, which is the first hundred videos and descriptions of the processes and all the tech, uh, yeah, techniques, processes, and all the tools. I want to try this other basting brush. I can't help it because it's really fine. I left all the bristles on there and so it makes a completely different, yeah, it makes a completely different pattern. And I have some thick areas and I kind of like what that's doing too. I don't know if it's a good thing to drag it out into completely, do I dare? Yes, I interrupted myself yet again. <laughs> And it probably won't ever stop. So thank you guys for bearing with me. And I appreciate all the wonderful compliments you give me every day. You cheer me up immensely. And when it was the hardest, you kept my morale up. And I appreciate that so much. And I've been doing this for more than a year at this point. A couple years, actually. And I'm happy to share with you what I do. And I'm really pleased to inspire so many of you. And I don't know about that. I want something there. And I'm willing to risk the full bristle effect. Yeah, that was okay. So much so <laughs> that I'm going to do it again. All right, we're bordering on too far. Too much of a good thing, but I really like what I've got, so I'm not going to complain. Um, I do sell my artwork, and I do give classes in Spring Hill, in, at Spring Hill, Florida, in my studio. So if you want to get in touch with me, just please mention that you would like one of those two things on an, e on an email through EASPB gallery, the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com or on my YouTube communications area and I will get back to you and give you that email address. I'm sure this stuff I forgot, but it probably melted into my brain at about 110 degrees. Oh look, a spiral. I wasn't supposed to do that. That's okay. I like these little dots over here. I could probably dot this a whole lot more. Maybe I should try that. Since I'm still here, and I like dots, because they're tight. Maybe some black ones too? I think so. As long as they don't come running out like at a racehorse pace. A few dots never hurt anybody. I think you hear me say that about spirals all the time. Somebody told me I was a good daughter this morning. I said, yes, I am dotty, <laughs> for sure. More than a little, especially working outside in the heat. All right, that's enough of that. I hope to see you guys in another video. There's over 600 of them on the end screens. If you want to be of great assistance to me, if you cannot contribute to the studio, if you just watch more videos, including the commercials, you will be of huge assistance to me. The same if you give me a thumbs up. It tells the YouTube algorithm that you'd like to see more of my videos and that they should share more of my videos with more people and bigger audiences made available to me when you give me a thumbs up. So thank you very much. I noticed you guys were very helpful. Yeah, I did. I wiped out that dot. And there's over 65,000 of you. This is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Studio Gallery in the backyard going, that was fun. It was hot, but it was fun. I recommend it. <laughs> Probably not the heat, but definitely the fun. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just playing now. I'm going to pretend I didn't do that. You can pretend the same thing if you want. All right, I'm out of here. I'm going to go throw myself in the pool and get wet and come back and maybe use up some more paint or maybe I'll just run to Michael's because ah, there's a sale. Of course there is. All right, I love you guys, all 65,000 of you. Keep up the good work. I've seen what you're up to and you are good students and very much appreciated by me. Oh yeah, wait, wait, wait. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group on Facebook is where you can go and join other people who like to do what I like to show you and other stuff, and I will answer your questions. So if you go there, um, you'll get some attention 
from new people, making new friends. And Expressionist Art Studio Gallery fans and collectors is where you can go to see my new artworks when I post them. And um, I try and keep up. I don't do a very good job, but uh, volumes one, two, and three at the bottom of the description underneath the video will take you there. But you may have to join the group. So I'll see you guys soon. Bye for now. Priscilla out. I love you. <laughs> I know, I'm crazy.